You're a very dangerous person to be involved in a YouTube channel, you know that. <laughs> What's happening, Free Game? We are coming to you live, but not, not live, live, from an underground Hobbit house. Yes, it feels good to say that. We're actually not in there right now. We're standing on top of the ground. We're above ground. Yeah. Aren't we? We're yeah. on top of the Hobbit house. Yes. The top ground Hobbit house. For you right now, it just looks like we were just in a field with some grass, but really we're in the middle of the Brecon Beacons in Wales. Comment below, Free Gang. Welsh Free Gang, or maybe even Western England Free Gang. Comment below if you were in that area or if you surrounding areas. We're kind of in the middle of nowhere, aren't we? But look at the view. Yeah, we have got a amazing view of these hills around us. Very windy. Just had my hair cut on the side, really feeling it. But we've got a lovely surrounding area. Animals all around us. We've been woke up with and and excuse me. <laughs> yeah, but we're really, really excited to be here. For those of you that watched the previous video, you saw that we've got a shopping hall for an underground place. But this is the place that we are staying. It's a Hobbit house. And it is Halloween today. So I know. What better day to be staying in a Hobbit house? Yeah. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> Should we go down and show the free game? Yeah, Pops. let's go. So we've just walked up to sit on top of our house to go above ground. But what they've done here is a beautiful hill, which you can see Jojo is standing on top of now. <laughs> Mummy, what's going on down there? I'm falling over. I'm and what they've done, they've built a house in this hill, which you are going to see now. Look at this. Look how amazing this is. So it's a hobbit house, so me and Bob are actually too tall to get in the door, but it's perfect size for Jojo, so we thought, well, maybe Jojo must be the size of a hobbit then. Yeah, yeah hobbits are small. It looks like it's going to open up a circle. Yeah, oh, shall we go in? Yeah. So this hill has been carved down and it looks like basically the hill probably would have gone to there and they've completely cut this out to fit in a beautiful little house. Let's go in. It's cold. So look, we have to duck our heads down, heads down to go in, look. Well no, prove it. Walk into it so it bangs your head. <laughs> Yay! We've got our pumpkins here, ready for some pumpkin carving later on. Right, wipe your feet, Daddy. Well done, Jojo, good. Sit, open the other door. Here we go. So we're actually really restricted on how we can look. The camera is hitting the ceiling. <laughs> but as you can see, that is one wall. That, that is the other wall. This is a very tiny but extremely cute place. We are yeah. so excited to stay here. What a little look, adventure. Look at the fire. We yeah. found this on Airbnb. So the people that own this place filled this up with uh, wood for us, which we've used loads of because it was so cold last night. But we put it in there and then you can cook on here. Comfy seat. Yeah, we've Yay. got a comfy sofa. So this lovely sofa basically turns into a king size bed, which was really cozy. Like it had two sections. So Jojo had, you had your own section, didn't you? Mm. And me and daddy had our own section. They provided bedding for us, but we bought our own bedding as well, which and is really cool. And it's quite high up here, not just from the road, but we, uh, there was a bit of a climb to come into this area, wasn't there? So yeah. it is high up and it is cold. So Jojo, yesterday was a really special day, wasn't it? Do you want to tell the free gang why it was a special day? Yeah. Go on then. So I saw not one, not two, not three, not four, but five shooting stars. Yeah. Five. That's the first time you ever saw what, any as well, isn't it? Because yeah. we're quite up high right now and the sky was completely clear last night. So amazing. I've never seen stars like that so beautiful and we just took a big blanket outside and sat on the on the chair outside. The two of them wrapped up in their jacket yeah, wrapped inside. Yeah, like up like that and we just saw like one after the other shooting stars. Comment below if you've ever seen a shooting star. I think the first time I saw one, I was 13 and I was camping. First time I ever remember seeing one was the night Jojo was born. Really? Yeah. Wow. I was looking out thinking of my mum and then boom. Oh. Yeah. Because Bob's mum's died. Yeah, she died when I was younger. But that was nice that you saw a shooting star. Yeah, it was the night he was born, but it had gone into 1am the next morning, which was my mum's birthday, which was quite interesting. Yeah. Because her birthday's the day after yours. Oh. Yeah. You didn't even know that, look at it. <laughs> so you're going to remember the 30th of October for the rest of your life, because that was the day you saw your first shooting star. You were all seven star. years old, 2018. Yeah, and the first one we saw was like, it was like really long, wasn't it? Yeah, it was like all across the sky. Yeah, and it's, they go so fast, don't they? Well, not too fast for me, I saw five. Should we show the free gang around this place? It's going to be an extensive tour, this is. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a very short tour. <laughs> this and this, and that's it. 
Do you want to, ah, I just banged my head. I've got to remember there's things like this at head level. Yeah, these doors close like that. They pop, they're folding doors that close. The handy thing is it's got these curtains that go across as well to keep even more heat in at yeah. night. There's a sink outside, but this is like, I guess the kitchen area. And there's like all the knives and forks and things like that in there. We've been storing some of our food in there as well, haven't we? Yeah, some of the comfort food, underground yeah. comfort food. Essentials there. to survive. There's a little fridge in there as well. That's cute. So you can cook food on here as well. You put that on there and we're going to cook lunch on here later. So the heat from there heats it up. So. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, it's no. pretty nifty, isn't it, Jojo? So, so cool and automatic. Automatic. We got our um, suitcase here. We had more stuff, but we oh had my to, goodness, yeah. We had to put it in the car. But it's good coming to places like this because it reminds you to live more minimalist. Of course, we have our distiller though. In the <laughs> yeah, the distiller comes with no matter what, and do you know what? That heats up the place as well. Yeah. Which is always a very good bump. Oh, look at this! Look at this light as well. Oh, no. How nice is that? That's actually a light. It's all multicolored. It's like it's been made by someone. Well, I mean, everything's been made by someone, but Mother Nature. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's been like handmade, and the light as well on the ceiling is really nice. Yeah. It's got butterflies on it. Woo! Ceiling view, free gang. So what have we done this morning? We done we did uh, JoJo's learning. He's done some writing and a few other things this morning. JoJo, how did it feel? to be doing your homeschooling in an underground hobbit house. <laughs> it felt weird. Felt weird, didn't it? Yeah. Also really great. Yeah, lots of fun, wasn't it? And how did it feel have, having breakfast in an underground hobbit house? I feel this underground hobbit house thing is starting a trend, Mummy. Have we done this before? I think we have done this before. I'm having a shower in a tree. We were sleeping on a bus. I'm reading Harry Potter in a tree. I've never washed up on a bus. And over here we've got some things on the shelf. They want you to completely be engulfed in the Hobbit theme. They've got the three Lord of the Rings books and The, the Hobbit. Hobbit. And this is ours, of Yeah, course. Harry Potter. I don't know if I, we should say that we've got Harry Potter here. They might, you know, there might be a Harry Potter versus Hobbit clash. Lord of the Rings board game. In case you're bored. Mother Sheep, which is because there's sheep neck living next door, I guess. Wreck of Beacons, Myths and Legends. And Jenga. Oh, Jenga. Good old Jenga. Jenga. And there's these little fairy lights along the I top know, there, isn't they're they? cute. Oh, and this is the hook from Mummy's hairband. Yep, good. Yeah, well, they, they were... <laughs> Oh, you just realised that? There was a cup on there, but we used the cup. So I thought, why not put my hairband on there? I feel like we should open this again. Yeah. <laughs> Let heat flood out more. We need more wood. Okay, I'm going to go and collect more wood. You guys can see some of the surrounding area as well. Some of our neighbours, i.e. sheep. So outside, this is the sink where you can wash up any of your plates. I washed up some stuff last night and left some water in the tub. And this morning, it was solid ice. Water out of the tap wouldn't come because it was frozen as well. It's very, very cold, isn't it, mate? But it's all right today, isn't it? It's quite fresh. It's nice. Have you shown the sheep? So as you can see, there's some neighbours there. We've got some oh, sheep in the hills. Oh, looking at us. Ah, oh, that one over there. You want to be in the video, do you? Ah, oh, there you go. There's your moment of YouTube fame. So hello, free gang. Hello. And there's a nice little seating area here as well. This is where Katie and Jojo were wrapped up looking at the stars last night. You're probably wondering what's that doing there? That is actually Jojo's guitar. He's gonna have his guitar lesson in a moment. Of course, all of the pumpkins. We're gonna be chopping those up later, aren't we? Yeah. Anyway, go and get the wood. Come on in. So this is the little path. Jojo, you're leading the way. Nice and careful. Luckily, this was all lit up when we got here last night. So the guy who runs this place, apparently he's just spending near enough every day of his life chopping wood for wood burning stoves and fires that they have around. So we can just come down, pick up a tray. Luckily, it looks like it's all recycled wood, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It's like wood that would have been thrown away. Exactly, so. it's just cut off from stuff that wouldn't have been used, yeah. So at least it goes to use in some way. It's really warm in here. The sun starts shining on here, it's warm. Let's stand here tonight, change your video. <laughs> 24 hours in a greenhouse, a wood house. <laughs> Come on then. There actually is another sneaky way up. Well, it's not sneaky, it's the steps have been made, but it's sneaky because I didn't know about it until this morning. Look at the view, just where you go. I mean, you see that there in a hill. So cool. Oh, what we've got as well, little pig friend here watching over the place while we sleep. Jojo, what's the piggy's name? Um, Jeffrey. 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 Yeah. Oh, nice name. That's the best name since uh, Rocky and Broom. Yeah, that he named his. Those caterpillar worms, these <laughs> cuddly worms that we have at home. This is Rocky. This is Broom. Broom. <laughs> so we're going to stop putting some wood in the fire. Jojo loves all of these fires. He always wants to just watch me and I'm putting bits in. He's well supervised as well. I think he's supervising me, aren't you? Yeah. Making sure I'm being safe. He just loves what it looks like. Fire's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. But a friend of ours called Cammy, and she calls it our grandfather. 
Yeah. Fire, fire. Yeah. yeah. But fire must be what, Jojo? Fire must be respected. It must be respected because although it's nice to watch, it can be dangerous. Yeah, like if you just like say, like if you insult waves and they splash you. <laughs> so what are you saying? If you insult fire or don't respect fire, it burns you. Yeah. Everything has consciousness. <laughs> okay, fire is well up and running. What are you two doing there? Spanish is well up and running as well. Yeah, Espanol. It was quite interesting. I heard you just say, mi apartamento es perfecto. Yeah. What does that mean? My apartment is perfect, yeah. I would happen to agree with that. What are you up to there, mummy? Making lunch. It's like already cooked rice. Most people do it in the microwave, but we haven't got some microwave. And I wouldn't want to use that anyway. I'm just going to put it, the rice in there. Just heat it. Yeah, and I've got, yeah, and got bread. But there's a special oven just to heat things. Oh, so you can just warm... Yeah, look, look in there. Oh, cool. Yeah, put the bread stick in there. Good work, mummy. Yeah, so that's lunch. Are you going to go and get more wood? You more two? wood, yeah. This fire is eating up the wood quicker than I eat cucumbers. <laughs> get out. How's the lunch coming along, mummy? Good. Check that out. Free can go and get a sense of the smell. Well, I don't think they can. Some people have said before that, oh, that smelled good. I'm going to put it close up, so. Really? They've got smell of vision Right, I think this is done. The bread's warmed up now. So, Jojo, do you want lunch now? Or are you going out to play? I'm going out to play for a bit. All right. It's going to have a hobbit adventure. He yeah. said something about a ring and a dragon. Someone called Gandalf. Yeah, big beard. <laughs> Says you can't pass. No, shall not. Hey, don't insult Gandalf. Gandalf. I'm not insulting really him. Nice guy. I'm not, I'm just making an observation of his appearance. Why does he look like the same guy that's in Harry Potter? As you wish, Dumbledore. I'm Gandalf. It's pronounced Dumbledore. Is Dumbledore and Gandalf the same person? Are they? No. Because but the actor who plays Gandalf was actually asked to be Dumbledore when the first actor who played Dumbledore died. And he said no. Um, well, no. Um, <laughs> the previous actor had insulted him. Oh. Said he wouldn't be good for it. <laughs> That was today's fact on Family Freedom's Interesting Facts. Mummy, what are you doing with that hummus around the bread? This could all kick off. Mummy, what are you doing? Warm bread with hummus. My goodness. Go. Oh, the greens are going in there as well. And the rice. This is going to be mega bap time. Oh, yes. Not every day you get to eat your lunch in a hobbit house, is it? I know. I'm ready for lunch. You going to leave your coat on? Yeah. Okay. How's that, Daddy? I'm feeling all nostalgic. <laughs> Looking out to the Welsh countryside, eating rice with greens. Did you have a childhood memory of it, did you? When there was a hobbit. What was that in a past life? Mm. You have no idea about Lord of the Rings or hobbits and stuff, do you? No. Yeah, you were the one that chose this place. I just thought it was the coolest place we could stay. It probably is. Free game, for those of you that have seen when we stayed in a bus or stayed in a tree house, comment below, which is your favourite so far? So yeah, comment bus, tree house or hobbit house. I think tree house is mine. Yeah? Hobbit house is mine. What which? is? Hobbit house. Hobbit house is yours. Hobbit house is yours. Which we one? shouldn't be saying our favourites, it might influence the free game. Which one's yours? Tree house. Okie dokie, what's going on here? I'm doing my guitar lesson. A guitar lesson in an underground hobbit house. My goodness. How does it feel to be performing in an underground hobbit house? It feels lovely. Right, you guys are going to get an exclusive here because Jojo has learnt one of his songs, haven't you? Yeah. Are you ready Jojo? <laughs> this track to, for him to play to. Right. Uh, ready, Jojo? Good stuff, Jojo. I could really feel how much you were concentrating on that as well. Yeah. Serious stuff. Well done. So we. Something about guitar. If you put your finger on the. What 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 what's this on, Mummy? Something else is playing here. Come and run, a lad. It's gone onto my playlist. Oh no! After the love has gone, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Jojo, play to this. YouTube's gonna do us. We gotta stop.
So we just used the oven again to heat up some of these little pies. They're like apple and black currants, I think. They're really nice. Katie was insistent. She said, well, if I'm having a cup of tea, I want one of these heated up. This oven's well handy. You can keep the place warm and heat up food as well. And Jojo, you're making use of the Jenga. You learn a lot of patience doing this, don't you? Yeah. Like you do with cards. Look, I've actually built a real house of cards before. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It's amazing. Roll the clip, Daddy. I started from two layers, and then I went to three, and then I went to four. Oh, what have you made there, Jojo? A train station. It's not really much of a train station. It's more like a signal box. A signal box. Like wow. That, that's the man up there. Mm. And then he presses the button, and then a signal box comes down from there, and it has a red light. Nice. And also, there's a track going up there and a track going down below. And I used every single block. Used all the blocks? Yeah. Wow. Right, so what, what are we going to do now, Jojo? We're going to do some pumpkin carving. Yes, make some jack-o'-lanterns. Right, so Jojo, do you want to draw a face on yours then? And I'll help you cut it out. Right. Oh, you've got two eyes there. Nose. Mouth. There we go. Oh, nice big eyebrows. We need to take the stuff out of the inside, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, do you remember Put that? The candle in. Right, so I'm gonna cut around the top first. There we go. Hey! All his brains are coming out with it. Oh! Get this spoon. Dig it all out. Oh. I'm just gonna have to get my hand in there. Oh no, all my memories are getting cut out. Oh no, I don't even remember the day that I was born. I can't remember what one plus one is. It's because you're taking all these memories. You don't know what one plus one is, pumpkin. Yes, it's because you're taking it all out. Like, the only thing he can remember is how to open doors, how to open pistachios, and how to stamp on the floor. That's all he can remember, is it? Yeah. Oh, Ooh. that's one eye done. There we go. And now you need to do the dots around. The do oh no, I'm not cutting those out because you can't put holes in his cheeks, can you? We we'll put his hat back on, yeah. I can't remember which way it goes. In. I remember, I remember. Yeah, I'm quite heavy. This is him. Okay, I'm gonna do mine now. Jojo's just got bored with watching me do this, so he's gone to watch his iPad instead. <laughs> Right, I've finished mine now. Ooh. So that's Jojo's one. Whee! Uh, <laughs> and this is Katie's one. This is my one. <laughs> my one's got a really big mouth and big eyes and everything. <laughs> right, I'm gonna put a candle in Jojo's one. Ooh, it's still slimy in there. And a candle in Mummy's one. Right, don't blow it out. What is it about kids and blowing out candles? Is it because we get you get to blow them out on your birthday? Yeah. Right, I'm gonna pop them up here. So Free Gang, who do you think did the best jack-o'-lantern? You've got Jojo's here with a smaller eyes, smaller nose, smaller mouth. He's did it almost in proportion to himself. And this one is Katie. So comment below, which one do you think is best? Stop, po are you pointing at yours? No, put that hand out of the way. My one's just got bigger eyes and everything. So this one is Katie's. Big eyes, big mouth, just like Katie. And this one is Jojo. Small eyes, small mouth, not like Jojo. And I don't know what this is here. Rosy cheeks. Oh, that, that, that's a rosy cheek. Oh, it's, this one's got eyebrows as well. Oh, he's happy. And Mummy's is a bit more menacing. This is what Mummy looks like when she finds out that the mangoes aren't ripe. Jojo's is definitely the happiest one, I'd say. Yeah. What are you doing there, Mummy? Jojo has specifically requested beans on toast. I'll have that as well. And you guys are probably wondering, how are you going to do the toast with no toaster? <laughs> I'm wondering that. Yeah, I'll show you in a minute. And Mummy, I'd like to point out that you've carried on the Batman Batgirl theme. I'm totally having so much fun right now. I've actually had this top for about five years now, and I get it out most Halloweens. And I actually wear it when it's not Halloween as well. You only tend to wear it when you're standing in underground hobbit houses. Is that right? I wear this top a lot and I've had it a long time. If you can't handle Batman, maybe you should leave. <laughs> I just spat. Right, I think those beans are done. I like how you've made a little seat here as well. I know. It's like my little kitchen seat. So you've got the bread now. We used to do this at my grandmother's house years ago when I was a kid and it was so much fun. Was your grandmother 
A hobbit? No. Hmm. So basically, you hold the bread like that. Don't try this at home, kids, though. Do not try this at home. I've been doing this for years, okay? Do not try it at home, I'm serious. You've got a degree in stove toasting, haven't mm. you? So you just hold it there and that will toast that side. Yeah, toasts it, then you turn it round. Is it working, Jojo? Of course it is! Well, my boy wants beans on toast in a hobbit house, so... Yes. Strange demands of our children. Right. Beans on toast, Jojo. <laughs> How happy are you on a scale of one to a hundred? I think a hundred. Really? Yeah. Ooh. Beans on toast with no toaster, eh? Do you want some beans on toast? Yes, with hummus and greens. Oh, really? Yes, <laughs> we're going for this. More, please. You want more? You're a hungry boy. Do you want some greens with this one as well? First, yeah. My goodness. Ooh. Have you deliberately made it look like a face? I put some cheese on top. It looks like a face. It's like eyes and there's this bearded person. I love making faces with food. Comment below. Who likes making faces with food? Should we do a face? This is my comment below. <laughs> Should we do a faces with food challenge? You're a very dangerous person to be involved in a YouTube channel. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, free game. We have just finished our lovely dinner. Katie and Jojo, they've gone off to have a shower. Forgot to mention this actually earlier. There is a shower we can use here. The main house, they have a spare shower which is for guests who stay in the Hobbit house to go down and use. So yeah, those guys are down there. And I am going to change this room. I'm going to change the sofa into our bed for the night. So you can see exactly how this transformation works. <laughs> So all done, that is it guys. The bed is all ready. What we do, we set it up with Katie over that side, me in the middle, and Jojo has his own little section here. We've got this blue blanket all the way across, but he has his own separate blanket there as well, just so he's got his own little area. But you can see how we slowly run out of space here. So all of our leftover stuff, our bags and our suitcase, just has to stay there and we can put it in a neat pile. And then some of the sofa cushions get put down here just to try and keep the heat in. Now I'm just waiting for those guys to get back. So we're all ready for bed. Well, these two are ready for bed. I'm gonna start getting ready for bed now. And a nice shower, did we? Yeah, Jojo didn't want to get out the shower. Did no, you? You're enjoying yourself, are you? I, I just love the warmth. But just before we say goodbye, we're just gonna give a shout out for one of you lovely free gang who have requested it. So today's shout out goes to Susan Parkinson who says, love you family freedom, love your vi watching your videos. And it's my birthday tomorrow, can I please get a shout out? That was a few days ago, so uh, I think they might have made your birthday the 27th of October, so I hope you had a great birthday, yeah. Susan. Yeah, happy birthday, Susan. And if any of you guys want a shout out an upcoming video, leave it in the comments below and we'll try and, and we'll pick one at random in an upcoming video. And if any of you guys are new to this channel and you like seeing how we live our lives in a hut or hobby house underground, Oh, can I just add one more thing as well? If any of you guys want to stay here, do a Google search for Airbnb Hobbit House and it will come up because I think it's the only one in the UK. Oh, it's so worth staying here. And the people that own the house that live down there and own everything, like, oh, they're lovely. Lovely people, yeah. yeah. You met the man and I just met the woman. Yeah. But yeah, guys, hit that notification bell if you want to be kept up to date on when we do upload videos. And we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Peace out. Go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs>